It is the last stunt. One last mission, one last myth to bust. And only two men have the skills to do the job. For 14 years, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman have been warriors for truth in a land of, well, a lot of stupid stuff. Armed with engineering skills born of years in the visual effects business and a ton of science know-how, not to mention some wonderful toys, the guys made science fun and the world smarter. Now they're saying goodbye in classic Mythbusters style. This is the last stunt of the last episode of the last season. Today, we are driving a truck ram through the whole history of the Mythbusters series. I've been going through this whole sea of emotions over the past few months. I mean, we've been doing this for 40 weeks a year for 13 and a half years. In 2014, Jamie and the crew built a huge steel beak onto a big rig to plow through traffic. Now Adam's going to drive it through a mile of the show's best props over the years. There's the Diet Coke and Mentos Cascade, the duct tape life rafts, and even the Jato rocket-powered Chevy Impala. All right, here we go. This is the destructive drive down memory lane. Obviously, it's going to be fun, but the show has always had a deeper message, that science is rad. We learned along the process that just being methodical and careful about your work, well, that's science. Science and engineering are not just things for guys in lab coats. It's for anybody that wants to learn more about their world. Mythbusters prefigured maker culture, and it proved that hackers and geeks didn't always have to be the sidekick. They could also be heroes. Three, two, one. We're not going to show you the whole stunt. That'd be a spoiler, and you're going to watch it anyway. The primary message of this show has always been about being curious. That's what I keep getting back from the fans, and it is a great lesson that when you follow your enthusiasm, a lot of other things fall into place. And I'm really grateful for both having, it seems, uh, propagated that message, but also how much I've learned it. Us two guys, thanks for 14 years of deeply cool nerdery.